My name is Bethany Gillard. I'm playing Hero in Much Ado About Nothing. Hi, I'm Tyrone Savage. I'm playing Claudio in Much Ado About Nothing. The army, Don Pedro's army, returns to the town of Messina, where Hero uh, is the daughter of the governor, Leonardo. And Claudio, my character, falls instantly in love upon seeing her when he returns. It's a pretty so, easy thing to play. Yes. I yeah. just look at her and go, oh. And then we're in love. I guess everyone knows. It's 400 years old. So then uh, my character is tricked into believing that she's been unfaithful, and he rejects her at the altar. Um, Worst wedding day ever. Yeah, it's really, really bad. And then she pretends that she's dead. I feel really bad. And then uh, what happens? Then we find out that Hero is innocent, and Claudia's a giant jerk. Giant jerk. Um, but, but, we uh, Leonardo decides that that you can have Hero anyway. So why does Claudio fall for the trick, Don John's trick, into believing that Hero's been unfaithful? It's it's a tough question to answer. What I came up with was that he's very young and he's never not really experienced in love. So for me, when I go there, when I see her, it's the first time I've fallen in love, but I know nothing about women. I spend all of my time in the army with, with a group of men. Um, mm -hmm. So I believe what people tell me, especially my superiors. Well, I, I think too that he, people forget that, that Don Pedro and Claudio see it, because it doesn't happen on stage, but they, they are brought to her bedroom window and they see somebody up there mm -hmm. with a man. I mean, it, it's somewhat gullible, but it's also quite a well set up, crafty plan. And why does why does Hero forgive Claudio? <laughs> um, I, th I, I love being asked that question because I think one of the beautiful things that we're given in Much Ado About Nothing is a character with an incredible capacity to forgive. Mm. That she can go through this whole ordeal and look at the situation and go, what's the very worst that we could do to each other? And, and Claudio too has, has seen her be thrown off a pedestal, even though it wasn't really her. And I think it's a, an interesting play because we get so many, we get to see two different pairs of lovers at two very different stages of life. And so I do think that the audience whether you're a student coming in to see Shakespeare for the first time or you're, you know, a, a seasoned, theater, seasoned veteran. theater veteran coming to see, you know, Beatrice and Benedict just, just have at each other, you know. I hope that people come and and just laugh and, and have that, you know, go on that <laughs> that really wonderful journey with, with everyone. I mean, it's it's nice to, to sort of be silly sometimes and, and have that appreciated through it as well. I hope when people come to see this that they I don't know, that they can see themselves in some of the characters, that they can see, you know, uh, I can believe that Claudio's gonna do that. I can, I've been there when Benedict says, I'm not going to ever fall in love, and then is immediately tricked into falling in love. I think there's, that's the great thing about Shakespeare. It's such, so full of humanity, that the shared experience between what we're going through on stage and what people have gone through in their real life, there's a connect in that.